how people out there talk about trauma. It's like they say it's about a memory that needs to be digested. I, I, I don't agree with that. It's about how your body gets stuck in being frozen or in heartache and gut wrenching feelings. And you need to really reclaim your body is a, a very central issue of overcoming trauma. Emotions are about physical sensations. So you feel joy in your chest. You feel joy in your movements. When your heart is broken, you feel it over here. When your gut is wrenched, you feel it over here. So, uh, so emotions are really about physical sensations. Trauma is about having unbearable physical sensations. Right? So you can go to your psychologist and yak about what has happened to you. But the core issue is not what happened to you, but the fact that your body got stuck in heartbreak and gut wrench. And so somehow you need to be helped to learn to re-own your body. We did a study on the immune system and trauma and saw that basically when people get traumatized, their immune system starts overreacting and starts attacking themselves. And I think that is a very good metaphor for people's bodies getting stuck in a state of terror. So I've explored many different methods of dealing with trauma. Uh, I found that yoga has had the best reception. When you're a traumatized person, it feels like nothing will ever change. When you do yoga, you notice you can put yourself in some damn uncomfortable pro pose and before too long, it's going to be over. And you get that sense of time, which is a very important thing in helping to overcome trauma because sucky things happen to people all the time. And the way you move through life, you say, okay, today it sucks, but tomorrow is another day. So you have this sense of time that allows you to have that perspective. When you get traumatized, that perspective of this too shall pass, disappears. And so re-establishing that sense of time, which yoga does so well, is another very important part of what yoga can do for people. Yoga really helps people to really contain themselves and to safely experience their bodies. It makes it possible for people to uh, to feel things that they may be very afraid to feel. Um, and so that's just really much of my attraction to yoga is uh, the understanding that when you get traumatized, you don't really want to feel what you feel and know what you know. And that really is part of the, it's very at the core of the problem. And then how yoga really makes it safe for you to experience yourself, even though what you experience may not be all that great. And one thing I particularly like about good yoga teachers, for example, you will say, hold this pose for five breaths. And the first breath you say, I'm not going to do this, are you not? You say, I'll try it one time. And then you know that everything is going to, going to come to an end. And this very, very nice contained way that yoga allows you to do things that you ordinarily wouldn't want to do or dare to do. You say, no, just try it for a few breaths. And then it comes to an end, you say, wow, I did it. And those are the sort of elements of about yoga that I deeply appreciate. And so what we do in the weekend workshops is give people an introduction to how you might safely experience yourself. But for some people that can be quite frightening to actually be asked to breathe and to notice what comes up when you just sit on your butt and to breathe. So very simple things sometimes prove to be quite challenging. Uh, what's also important to know is like our research showed that a uh, steady yoga practice for a traumatized person is more effective than any medication that anybody has studied. It doesn't mean that you should not be taking medications, but overall, statistically speaking, yoga in the long range has more beneficial effects than medications. Um, but that doesn't mean that Doing yoga is going to make you immediately feel better. Uh, what we find actually is that when people start doing yoga, starting to feel your body may bring up feelings of helplessness, terror, etc., etc. So part of what can yoga, yoga can do for you, and having a good yoga teacher, is to help you to give you the courage to begin to 
to face your sensations.